Hi, this is Kim Fiend, and we're going to do a tutorial on doing a silhouetted character on a reflective background like this. Okay, I'm starting the new image. 1920 by 1080. Okay, first of all, I'm going to filters, render, fractal explorer, and I'm going to select uh, in the fractals tab beauty of nature and click OK. And go to the square select tool. And I'm going to uh, go control C and control V. And so we have a floating selection. I'm just going to click on new layer. And I'm going to go to the flip tool and set it to vertical. Click on the window. Go to the move tool, drag it down, and line it up. Okay. I'm just going to go to image auto crop. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Right mouse click, alpha to selection and press delete. Then we go to the bucket tool and bucket fill in with black and turn the opacity right down to about 15. I'm going to duplicate that layer again, the original layer, and again well I still have my selection, I could after selection again uh, press delete. So I'm going to my blend tool. I'm going to set the foreground color. I'm going to get the color chooser and so just click and get an orange up here. Make sure my gradient is foreground to transparent and just scroll up like that. Shift Control A to clear the selection. And now we can see it's a sort of reflective surface here. Okay, I'm going to bring my character in. Open as layer. And I'm going to bring this layer to the top. This character is Zafina from Tekken 6. I'm going to go to Colors, Desaturate and then colors threshold move the left slider up to it uh, to it's about 250 and go okay now right uh, sorry I'm going to go to images sorry layers transparency add alpha channel go to the color select tool select the white and press delete Shift Control A to clear the selection and just move the character around to where you want it. Okay. Now we need a, a mirror mirror hub here on the floor as well, so duplicate the layer. Go to the flip tool, make sure it's on vertical. Now we want to right mouse click alpha to selection and press delete go to the blend tool set the foreground color to black again we want foreground to transparent and just scroll down a little way and then shift control A to clear selection and just drag that 
down a bit and line this up. Auto crop image and flatten the image, and there we have it a uh, silhouetted character on a reflective surface. This is Gimp Fiend, thank you for watching.